Welcome to another instructional video from OWL, the wise choice in fiber optic test equipment. I'm Professor Jim Powers. This video will demonstrate the different functions of the OWLTREK OTDR power button, how to properly set the trace parameters, and how to start a new trace. Pressing the power button will turn on the OWLTREK OTDR. Initially, a screen will appear showing important information about the OTDR, including firmware version and serial number. While the power button is used to power on and off the OTDR device, it also has other functions while the OTDR is in use. Briefly holding the power button while at the tray screen is a shortcut to access the tray screen help menu. Additionally, while navigating in the menu system, the power button can also be pressed to exit the menu and return to the tray screen. In order to receive the most accurate trace results possible, it is important to properly set the trace parameters. Available user configurable trace parameters include index of refraction, user mode, pulse width, data point averaging, dead zone length, fiber range, and step. To ensure the most accurate distance to events, index of refraction should be set to the fiber manufacturer's refractive index specification for the fiber under test. If unknown, set the index of refraction to 1.4681 as this value falls within 99% of the index of refraction values for most optical fibers. There are five different user modes available in the OWLTREK OTDR, Auto, Semi, User, Filter, and Live mode. Each of these modes will be explained briefly in this video. A note about user modes. It is highly recommended to use auto mode whenever possible to test optical fibers. Only users with a solid understanding of what each of the various trace parameters does should attempt manual setting of trace parameters. In auto mode, the OTDR automatically determines the best set of parameters based upon the fiber under test, except for dead zone length. Semi mode uses all manually set parameters except for pulse width. User mode allows the user to set all parameters manually. Filter mode is the same as user mode, with some additional filtering that smooths the trace, producing a cleaner looking trace. Live mode uses user-defined parameters for continuous trace monitoring in real time. Pulse width offers a trade-off between the ability to measure longer cable distances with a longer pulse width, versus the ability to see two events that are closely spaced with a shorter pulse width. Pulse width directly affects the OTDR's event dead zone. In other words, the minimum distance between two events where they can both be detected. Increasing the number of samples allows the OTDR to have better display resolution. Events are easier to see, especially as the trace approaches the OTDR's noise level. But this also increases the trace acquisition time. The dead zone setting allows the user to enter the length of a dead zone box also called a pulse suppressor box, if one is being used. If a value is entered for dead zone, the dead zone portion of the OTDR trace will be grayed out on the display. The active portion of the trace will begin where the dead zone ends. If no dead zone box is being used, enter zero. The range setting allows the user to manually enter the length of the trace to be taken with the OTDR. For best results, when setting range manually, Set the range to the next longest setting as the actual fiber under test, or if the length is unknown, set to max length. Setting the range shorter than the fiber under test will prevent the OTDR from displaying the end of the fiber. The step setting sets the trace sample spacing. A smaller step produces more accurate distances to events, but increases trace acquisition time. From the trace screen, Press the Enter key until the function menu shows the index and setup menu options. To set the index of refraction, press the yellow function button below the index soft key. The index of refraction will appear at the top of the screen above the trace viewing area. Use the left and right arrow keys to change the value of the index of refraction. Holding the arrow buttons will speed up the number scrolling. Remember, if the actual index of refraction is unknown, use 1.4681. Press index again to set the index of refraction. 
To set the other trace parameters, press the yellow function button below the Setup soft key. Use the left and right arrow keys to scroll through the values of the selected trace option and use the up and down keys to scroll through the different trace options. Once the options are set, press the yellow function button below the Save soft key. To exit without saving, press Quit. For additional information about trace options, press Help. Once the trace options have been set, press the Test function button. During the OTDR test, the Function Options menu will temporarily show Abort, all other soft keys are disabled, and a progress bar appears at the top of the OTDR display. Note, when starting a new trace, the old trace will remain on the screen for a few seconds while the OTDR gathers enough trace data to display the new trace. This gives the user some time to abort the trace if necessary and preserve the previously loaded trace. This has been another instructional video from OWL, the wise choice in fiber optic test equipment. For more information about additional instructional videos or OWL fiber optic test equipment in general, please visit OWL's website at owl-inc.com. I'm Professor Jim Powers. Thanks for watching.